Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of In Touch with Steve Trundolo. I'm so happy you could join us after our brief one-week hiatus. I'm Vince. That's Steve. Steve, you got to admit that this time last week, there was like an emptiness in you because we didn't do the show, right? Not only in me. Uh, friends and family, everybody loves the show, especially my mother. Um, after the Mother's Day episode, which was a big hit, my aunt reached out as well. Hey, what happened in touch? I said, don't worry. We'll be back. Checks in the mail. All right. So we are back after a week hiatus. Uh, the team is back after a little bit of time off, but you don't have any games uh, for the next week and a half. Mm -hmm. uh, and you're missing a few players, so numbers are a little bit different there. So tell me, how, what has training been like? What has been the emphasis during this time? The first week was off, um, and the emphasis there is for the players to recover mentally and physically. And I think it was a much needed week off, and we got the most out of that. Uh, now it's a matter of, uh, a few days of playing catch up and then working on a few tactical things we were not maybe happy with the first 14 games of the season. And we will revisit that when all of our international players come back next week. Uh, but until now, we are using that time, like I said, to brushen up our skills a little bit and to get on the same page tactically. It's a very small window um, to push the restart button. That's what we're doing. Trying to get a lot of dough and dirt through all the obstacles because anything is possible. So then coming out of the break, what are the expectations? To win games. Um, that's always been our expectations and coming out of the break uh, we're looking to play you know our style of football like we've been trying to all season but to get back to where we were towards the beginning of the season and more importantly defensively giving up very very little and very few big chances and that's uh, a main priority of ours right now on his left foot shot goal! So we're going to go back to talking about being on breaks and I did a little intel on you and I found out and you guys don't know this but you'll find out now our head coach is a certified barista uh, and he became one on a little break that he had so tell me the story how do you become a certified barista well you get fired from a job to have a little time you said uh, it was a break you didn't tell me you were fired <laughs> <laughs> Same thing in, in my, in my sure. line of work. Yeah, I had a little time in between and um, you know, my wife Mandy knows I love coffee and thought it would be a good idea and uh, gifted me a course to become a barista and it was the best thing I ever did. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a quiz, um, but it's going to be a very different quiz because a lot of people say that the way you take your coffee says a lot about you. Okay. And so this is how this quiz is going to go. I'm going to name a drink and you're going to tell me how you would make it as you being the expert barista and then give me a player that you would be making it for and why. So like, let's say I gave you espresso and you, I might say, well, I'm gonna make this for Izzy because he comes off the bench and gives us a little shot of energy off the bench. So you gotta get where I'm going here with that? Got it. Got it, okay. So let's start with an easy one, Americano. This is coffee with some, uh, with an espresso. That's it, and some water, hot water. I'm gonna give it to Ryan Holly instead. Okay, why? For obvious reasons. Because he's American, yeah. Because he's American. Okay, yeah. fair. And it's the first name I thought of when you said that. Okay, we're just warming up. So okay. that's a good good okay. start, good start. That's why I gave you the easy drink. Let's start with a, a favorite of a lot of people, a latte. An espresso drink, which is a shot of espresso, and then I think two thirds of steamed milk. I am gonna give it to Chicho, because Chicho is, in his core, hard and, and uh, precise like an espresso, mm -hmm. but has a lot of cream on top and milk on top. See, so yeah, this is this is what I wanted. This is where okay, we're going. Okay. Okay. Cappuccino. Third espresso, third uh, full milk, and third steamed milk. Great drink. Please, not after 12 o'clock and not after meals. All right. These are the rules. These are the rules. These are not rules that I made. I'm just following the rules. I'm gonna go away from the group. I'm gonna go to Mark Dos Santos, okay. our assistant. Okay. Because Mark is a very complex figure. Uh, he's a little Portuguese. He's a little Canadian. He's, I would say. A little bit of Italian in some ways, a little American. He's a little bit of everything, and, mm -hmm. and, and that's how a cappuccino is as well. Speaks several languages. Yes. Yes. Very complex. The espresso. Very easy. I mean, just extraction time and bean. And is it easy though? To make? No. Right. Once you know your machine and once it's dialed in and you understand how fine you have to grain it and how, how much pressure you tamper it with and how much extraction time, once you get all that done, it's, it's easy, you just push a button. Mm -hmm. Or look at the clock and then weigh your bean before you put it in. And that goes to the teeth blessing. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what you're gonna get in an espresso, how it tastes, if it's done right. And you know what you're gonna get out of the teeth blessing. But if you don't do it right, mm -hmm. 
it could be very different, and Latif is the same. Got it. Love it. See, you're this. This is going to be my favorite episode thus far because you're really <laughs> catching on to this game. Cafe au lait. Drip coffee and milk. Pretty simple drink. It's, it's it's just a solid drink for me. Not not too tricky, but always tastes nice. You can drink it at all times of the day. I think <laughs> pairs well with pretty much everything. So I, I'm thinking Max Cripeau. You know, okay. for those reasons, it's just solid, consistent, um, always pleasant, in a good mood, very positive. Macchiato. My personal choice after meals. Okay. Um, it takes a little sting out or mark that bitter, down in case bitterness you're out of dining uh, with Steve Trundle. Of a ristretto or, or a, you know an espresso after a meal. You know that one, uh, just a shot with some steamed milk on top. But I'm thinking of Ilya Sanchez for a reason because Ilya is somebody who's very important um, to this group and this organization. The espresso macchiato was very important to my day, mm -hmm. okay, much as yeah. Ilya is to our team. So it's it's Ilya in a very small cup. Okay. Let's do one that I think in America started to catch on, but wasn't well known until recently, the flat white. Uh, also a favorite of mine. It's just basically like a cappuccino without the foam milk and two shots, I believe. I like strong coffee. I like the taste of coffee. Not, for me, it's I have to taste the coffee, not the milk. Yeah, so I still like the coffee flavor. That's why the double shot in a flat white is extremely important to me. Yeah. Uh, that would be that would be Murillo, okay. because uh, Murray is, uh, you know, obviously incredibly talented, physically player, but at times shows like flashes of brilliance on the ball as well. Where we're all surprised. I don't know why we are still, but we are, and that's the milk coming to get it and just mm -hmm. kind of soften up the very physical play that he has. Okay, so for the last one, I'm gonna throw you a bit of a curveball, especially for a barista. Instant coffee. I don't know what that is. Oh, don't lie. And I refuse to answer that. Come on. That's not coffee. You could have said me then. You could have uh, you no. the instant coffee. What? That's that's nobody. That's not coffee. Nobody on the staff. Uh, yeah, nobody we, across the we team. have. What do you uh, got? Um, As John ruins our entire shot. That's gonna be Irving Meglar. That's gonna be one of our uh, equipment managers. He was with me in Vegas last year, and he's had quite a uh, quite a progression so far in development. And so he's still instant coffee, but I'm I'm hoping to turn him in into a complex espresso macchiato. <laughs> I can't wait for him to see this and hear that <laughs> come out of your mouth. Uh, we learned something new about Steve Trondolo today, or at least you guys did. I knew he was a barista, but his ability to break down these drinks uh, in a way that uh, paired it with footballers it was pretty cool. So that was a great episode. Thank you, Steve Trondolo. This is another episode of In Touch with Steve Trondolo, and we will see you guys next week.